Doo -doo vlog, bitches. What the fuck is up with y'all? It's another boring ass vlog. <laughs> Today, I'm having a basic bitch day. I flat ironed my hair, but then I just took my dog on a walk. So it's looking a little crazy, okay? We're looking a little crazy. I'm a little bit manic this morning. Don't give me too much. Oh, I forgot I got PT yesterday. Ooh, bitch. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a beautiful whatever day of the week it is, by the way. I got a pizza from Mellow Mushroom because I didn't know they had a whole vegan side of the menu, okay? So I'm gonna tell you guys what I got, okay? Gluten-free dough. There's no butter or Parmesan on this at all. They used a, um, I'm gonna put the brand that they use on the screen somewhere. I'm gonna put it like right here of what cheese this is. It is vegan cheese. It's not lactose free cheese. Um, onions, jalapenos, green peppers. I didn't realize until maybe like a few days ago when I stumbled on this video and I'll put it over here if any of you guys wanna watch it. Um, where it's like 75 things you did not know were not vegan and a lot of those things were kind of obvious that I already knew off the jump like for example uh, Make any fast food thing really you're running a risk of it not being a hundred percent completely vegan because you don't know What they're frying stuff in you don't know what's being cooked beside it like honestly the only place that you can go to assure that meats and vegetarian shit is not touching because for whatever reason a lot of these places don't realize that cross-contamination I could say wholeheartedly Indian restaurants okay Indian restaurants will make sure your shit does not touch because when I worked at an Indian restaurant we had separate utensils for vegetarian and stuff because you know a lot of Hindu or Indian people because there are Muslim Indian people as well that's part of their religion that's part of their spiritual practice that's not something you fuck up this is not a dietary choice okay so they take that very 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 seriously so if you guys just want to know for sure get you some chana masala and know that your shit is 100% vegan go for it but I knew a lot of the shit she was saying was not vegan like um gummies and mcdonald's french fries and pringle like potato chip like a lot of you have to look but one of the things that surprised me is when she said that cheeses that say they are lactose free does not mean it is not from milk and it made me really study the cheeses i buy luckily i did not buy any lactose free milk i bought all plant-based cheese but i did get duped and she even did bring up like the whole morning star thing because i definitely got duped by morning star i still need to throw this shit out i don't eat this anymore i literally had one and now it's done like look how much is in here but yeah i'm gonna throw this shit out right now or i'm gonna give it to somebody but like i still have all the bacon in here bitch like i got duped because i didn't know they use eggs in this yeah all my morning star girls y'all need to read the pack but i'm gonna give that to somebody i know somebody would like it i feel bad throwing away food so that's why it's still in there but i'm gonna give it away to like somebody that would like it but i'm about to preheat this pizza because i'm about to pop her in the oven then i gotta record today um a lot of things are going on this week hold on i'm gonna prop this up i have so much going on oh my god this is gonna be a fun vlogging week okay please don't mind my hair so what we got going on this week is i need to um well, I don't need to do anything. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'm going to see a play. And I'm so excited because I have not went to see a play for forever. Let me go preheat the oven. Hold on. I'm going to go see Wicked tomorrow with my mom it's gonna be a whole time there's gonna be drinks and stuff it's gonna be so cute and i'm so ready to go like i love plays so much i love the theater in general so i was never a theater kid I was never a theater kid but i was in a few plays in middle and elementary school high school is when you know try to be cool i'm gonna be doing that then i go to the dentist but another good thing that's happening either Thursday or Friday is that I get my approval for my medical marijuana, okay? So that's gonna be fun. I'm hoping I can do a whole video on that at the end of the week. But yeah, that's pretty much the outline of what's you guys are probably gonna see in this video with little snippets of foolishness. So I'm gonna go eat this pizza and take my dog out of her harness because she's looking really depressed. And um, yeah, whatever you guys get in this video is what y'all get in this video, okay? Free content, okay? I really want to start utilizing my vlogging channel more for, like, cooking and stuff like that. But, I don't know, this might be the last vlog y'all see me. It's just, I know I'm having a busy week, so this is the only way y'all can get five videos this week, okay, girl? Because last week, I'm over here uploading at fucking 7 p.m. trying to be nice and, you know, upload y'all some content. And I'm, I don't want it to feel rushed, and I don't want to feel rushed. I want it all to feel really natural, so... 
what you get is what you get but i'm letting you guys know forward like i'm really gonna try to keep my vlogs over there like because i know y'all think they're boring and shit so the oven's preheated i'm about to put my little touches on my pizza so because i could not get butter or parmesan i have to add my own so i'm using a new butter that i just got from whole foods it's called earth balance and it has vegan and non-gmo on the label so if it's not vegan and this ends up in the 75 things that's not vegan earth balance i will see you in court my guy because apparently somebody is suing burger king right now for that impossible whopper so don't put this on the front if you're not vegan because i'm gonna take your ass to court your girl needs some coin but the reason why i'm showing you guys this is because i know if you guys follow me on twitter you know that i tweeted that um i was feeling very sick uh because of going on a vegan diet because i wasn't getting all of the supplements that i needed from my foods naturally like i used to and i was using um supplements i had one of you guys reach out to me and told me like a, a bad experience you had with supplements and it just made me try to s look for foods that have the things that my diet lacks so it was really cool that where is it that this actually has omega-3 in it because that is something that i was really lacking so I am not used to putting butter on everything, but now if I can, I try to put like a little bit of butter on like my food so I can get that little omega-3, you know? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this on the crust and then I'm gonna get some garlic, put that on the crust, and then I'm gonna get some uh, meat substitute and put it on here as well and it's all gonna cook at the same time. This is a sausage I use. I know it looks really gross because I keep it in this container, but I just don't want it getting, um, you know, nasty and going bad quicker, so I keep it in a container. But this is the uh, Smart Life sausage, I think it's called. No, Light Life, sorry, Light Life. And this is, like, this brand has the best tasting, hands down, like their sausages, their like this has always been my favorite because I've gone um, pescatarian in the past. I've gone vegetarian in the past. So ever since I was in college, this will never let me down. Like while my pizza is cooking and I'm looking crazy, I just want to give a huge shout out to Mellow Mushroom and the Cheesecake Factory because I can't tell you how many times I've gone to certain restaurants and I'd be like, oh my God, if only they had a vegan cheese alternative, I could eat so much more stuff. And I really wish more restaurants would start carrying more plant-based type stuff, like plant-based meats and plant-based cheeses and stuff so that, you know, more they can get more vegan business. I just want to give them a shout out because you guys know I live in Jacksonville. I don't live in Miami. I don't live in Atlanta. I don't live in Seattle. I don't live in LA. I don't live in Brooklyn. Like I don't live in one of those cities where you could go to the gas station and get a vegan meal or you can go to the corner store. You can go to the bodega. You could go to stop, stop and shop like and get vegan shit or like you can go and find vegan restaurants. Like we don't have that here. So the fact that the Mellow Mushroom and the Cheesecake Factory in my city both carry plant-based alternatives, like Cheesecake Factory's the goat though. They have everything, sis. They got different, they got vegan cheeses, they got vegan um, burgers, they got vegan, like they got everything. Like go to Cheesecake Factory, y'all. Like, and I know I just said, if you're a vegan, you can't really expect, you're really putting your faith into the hands of these chefs at that point. Like fast food wouldn't do it but at least at a restaurant you can let them know like hey you know i'm vegan and they have the common sense of a back of house mentality to know like that's cross contamination like it's different when you're got fast food workers and when you got like chefs doing shit like i would highly advise trying their stuff it's really good but um yeah that's all i gotta say i'm about to eat this pizza and um straighten up the house a little bit before daniel gets back home from work and then i'm gonna film and do my hair and film okay <laughs> I'm so freaking hungry, girl. Doo -doo vlog, bitches. What's up, guys? So it's the day after. Yeah, I know, awesome vlogger. But I'm about to go to a play and I'm just gonna be doing the rest of the vlog for today on my phone because I don't know if they're even gonna let me bring cameras in there. They're probably not even gonna let me bring my phone in there, but I'm gonna try to record. I'm gonna go see Wicked. It's gonna be two hours, girl talent these people remembering two hours and 45 minutes of lines but yeah i'm about to go to my grandma's house and then my mom's gonna pick both of us up and we're gonna head out so i'm at my grandma's house dude we're about to go to this place it's gonna be me and my mom going to the play after all 
I have problems. I may or may not. Have it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Bitch, I'm lit before the play. Do vlog bitches. I fucked up and I did not want to get that drunk yesterday. I've been up for some time now, so I'm not even gonna cap. Like, I'm just now waking up, but I have been laying down. My hair is crazy. I'm just so excited because I got my approval. I am officially a medical marijuana patient, so that's fucking crazy. I literally live in a time where I can go and actually like consume legal cannabis, like that's crazy. But yeah, I did not expect to eat that tour up last night and like I literally had, I, looking back at the footage, I was already kind of toasty at my grandma's house before I even went over there because I'm such a fucking lightweight now, it's so aggravating. And I really, and then I had a double shot at the actual play, but honestly, I didn't drink, I literally just had one drink at the beginning and that was it. I didn't drink anything else, but that shit still fucked me up and I still feel like a little remnants of a hangover and I'm really hungry. So I'm about to do my hair, brush my teeth, and then uh, I still don't even know if I'm gonna post a video today because I got way too, like, I didn't realize how long that freaking play was. Wicked is a long ass play. That shit was too hours and 45 minutes so i didn't get home until like 11 something like 11 30 or midnight like all right now it's like seven in the morning because i wanted to wake up early enough to edit the video and have it out by two but i just don't think it's gonna happen i feel i feel like trash like your girl is hung over over her little what like four cups girl i'm gonna go because i'm either gonna do this and not be productive and then you guys can see it or I could actually be productive and then you guys could see a video instead you know so do do vlog bitches all right so right now I'm sitting in bed watching some British teenagers being pregnant some show I don't know but I'm waiting for um I'm on hold right now trying to talk to the medical marijuana registry because they did not send me an email for me to go and pick up my prescription. They just, um, it just shows that it's approved in my portal, but they didn't send me the physical thing and I can't pick anything up today if I don't have it. So the whole time for them is usually like 45 minutes. Just gonna let y'all know. I'm, I'm pretty sure people are gonna be asking these questions in the Q and A at the end of the week, so. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of patience. You gotta have a lot of patience. One eternity later. Get this shit. Get this fucking shit. Get into this. Let me close this door, cause I literally got approved for my card like the worst day of the month, worst day of the year, because now they're doing site maintenance. So not just me, but a lot of people in Florida are not getting their approval emails. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go to um, a dispensary that's very close to me at the beach and I'm gonna go in there with my card information. I have my card ID, I have my Florida State driver's license ID, like, and we're gonna see what they do. I'm gonna go there without my grandma. I'm just gonna go like by myself, see what I can do, shit. Your girl might pick up some butt while you plan if they approve. If they're like, everything's Gucci because I have all the credentials, they could check the database, I'm in there. I'm about to go get some butt. My grandma's gonna be so mad. If you're watching this, grandma, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna go with you um, this weekend. Like I promise, but but right now I'm about to just go and get me a little a little pike, get me a little pre roll, and just have a very chill Thursday. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about to get dressed and uh, we're about to go to this dispensary, you bitch. And we're gonna be filming on my phone again, so quality check. Sorry guys. And then I need to be the main reason why I'm not picking up my grandma is because um, it is 12:17 and my grandma is one of those people where. When we go out, we go out, bitch. Like, we go out. Like, I'm talking, we be gone for six hours out the day just shopping, eating. Like, so I'm not trying to get caught up in that. You get what I'm saying? Doo doo vlog, bitches. I can't really look at myself because I'm driving, but I'm leaving the dispensary right now. But I went to Move, and honestly, they were so cool there. I went to the new one that just opened at the beach. 
damn i hope this cop did not just see me on my phone let me stop y'all i gotta get home because that just my heart just went to my asshole like i got weed in my car like ah sir don't pull me over honestly i wish his ass would pull me over i really would i'm just playing that'd be a waste of um taxpayer time don't pull me over i'm licensed okay so now i'm in this line at tropical smoothie trying to get a smoothie and a veggie wrap oh my god look at my skin oh shit bitch Ooh, the line move my skin never looked like this is what y'all when y'all be having them oh wow now i get why y'all do that it's cute i'm home I don't know if I'm even allowed to put Spody on YouTube anymore because YouTube has all these crazy new rules and I need some bobby pins because I don't know why I'm acting like I got enough inches to be doing whatever hairstyle I'm trying to do. Like this is how I used to be looking as a kid. I was one of them little, little them little ratchet ass little girls as a child, bruh, where my, my kitchen was always out like this and I'm just... Hey guys, so I realized I never ended my vlog and I'm looking really crazy still. That's like the common theme of what I say throughout this whole vlog. But um, yeah, I'm glad, thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see any more of my medical marijuana journey or whatever, go ahead and subscribe to my vlogging channel. Check it out on my vlogging channel. I'm not gonna be talking about marijuana like that, like at all really on my main channel. Um, my main channel is just strictly gonna be like fair tribe teas and talking to you guys and stuff. Like you guys will get a link to it at the end of this video oh my god this is gonna bother me y'all i might as well just have fuck it um 